Okay. Or this guy, who is our third topic of the day, because I'm so baffled by the fact that he's not on this list. We can just flat out say it at this point. Braden Smith did not make inside the hall or UM Hoops' top 25 list. And I should Anything. say, and not or. They Anything. did it together. Anything. Braden Smith did not make the top 25 players in the Big Ten list. He is not on the honorable mentions either. <laughs> and I guess I bet their response would probably be, well, you're just nitpicking. Like anybody could have made the honorable mention. Then put him in the honorable mentions. <laughs> like no if, that, if your response is, well, we could have put, we could have put anybody there. Then put them there. Let me, uh, uh, can I, can I go off for a minute on this? The floor is yours, my friend. Okay. I think the presumption that Purdue has less players in the top 25 plus honorable mentions than like six other teams in this conference is completely asinine. And the the answer I got when I raised this in comments to these guys was, well, maybe we should have included Braden Smith, but Purdue's really just Edie. Come on. We've done this before. We we we've spent all offseason talking about this. I wholeheartedly disagree with this. I if you want to go back and watch our thoughts on this from a month ago, we said Purdue would probably be a top 10, 15 team in the country if Zach Eady wasn't here. I stand by that because when you have two freshmen that started every game and played really high level ball for three months of the season, becoming sophomores, those guys are gonna get better. Trey Kaufman Wren looks like a monster right now. Miles Colvin's really good. Caleb first is as solid as it comes. Like you can go down the list. Like all these teams, like Indiana, Purdue has like three guards that would be Indiana's second best guard at worst, maybe best guard on a bad Xavier Johnson day. Purdue has three guys who would be Michigan state's best center. They're so balanced. They are so deep. And painter has been crushing it. Like they've got like 10 top hundred guys. It's who they are at this point. And Edie's the national player of the year, but writing off everybody else. Cause they don't have the production because they're playing next to a guy who gets 24 and 12 in his sleep is just absurd. If the goal of this list is to list the 25 best players, you're, you're smarter than that. Like you can watch Purdue play basketball and realize that some of these guys on bad teams who have better numbers aren't better than Braden Smith. And uh, I I thought he was going to be in the 10th spot. Like I was predicting who the 10 would be after the 20 through 25 through 11. I thought I had a lock on this. I thought it was obvious. Braden Smith was in the Zed key spot and Zed key was off the list. Get pushback. Nope. Braden's off. Okay. Let me try and follow the thought process of this. Uh, they had Fletcher lawyer 21st insane to have lawyer ahead of Smith. If you're expecting one of these two guys to break out, it's Smith for a couple of reasons. One, Smith there has no competition. There's no, but if Smith struggles, there's no one on Purdue that they're going to put in the game to play point guard over Braden Smith. If Fletcher Lawyer is missing shots, Miles Colvin's going to slide down to the two. Or there's a bunch of other guys that can play that position. And Lawyer was horrendous at the end of the year. I still would have him on my list, but Lawyer was bad at the end of the year. He was worse than Braden Smith at the end of the year. And the reason I'm getting for Braden Smith being off the list is, well, his end of the season was pretty bad. He was bad the two Indiana games I watched is what the inside the all guys told me. So I just, I, I think everyone's asleep on this guy. I, I think if you watched him in the overseas trip, obviously he wasn't there, but he looks like a totally different guy. He has the ball on a string. He was averaging like 11 and a half assists in those games. It, it was his team. And I think it can still take a step forward to being his team while it's Zach Eady's team. Like it's, it's the two of these guys team. Braden Smith's a killer. If you put him in Doug McDaniel's position, Michigan's better. And I I'm the biggest Doug guy on the planet. If you put him on Wisconsin in Chucky Hepburn spot, Wisconsin's, if you, you can go down the list of any of these teams, except for the top three guards in the conference, and they will get better with such a pass first guy who, Oh, by the way, shot really well from three last year. He needs to shoot it more, but like he shot well from three. He shot well from free throw. He was efficient as hell. His assist to turnover rate was stupid. Like what am I missing on why Braden Smith is not on this list? You're not missing anything. You're not missing anything. I think that if at worst you could make an argument against you on where he's at on the list. So there could be, I would listen to an argument and be like, Braden Smith shouldn't be 10. 
I'm willing to listen to that. Him not being in the top 25 is it's it's a miss. It's wrong. It's wrong. You you missed. It's wrong. Um I I, <laughs> I don't know if maybe they're trying, I don't know, maybe the, they're trying to like rile up Purdue fans or something like that. Cause that's the only reason I could think of them la- leaving leaving him off. Breaking news. I just went back to look because I was going to read the list of names that uh, were also considered. They have retroactively added Braden Smith without marking that it was retroactively added. Mm-hmm. Mm. Interesting. Um, Interesting. Mm. Uh, yeah, Julian Reese, Patrick McCaffrey, Malik Hall, Deshaun Harris-Smith, Dante Scott, Kalel Ware, Chucky Hepburn, Scotty Middleton were the names also considered originally. I just think like, man... <laughs> At some point, you got to give credit for like just being the engine of a good team, right? And I know Edie's the engine. Okay, fine. Then like Braden Smith's the steering wheel if Edie's the engine, right? Like, yeah, I want to I, I want to send out a personal challenge to everyone this year, and I think that you should really watch Purdue without coming into the mindset that everything they do is with Edie. Like, I don't, we shouldn't be downgrading players and what they do or what they can do because they have to play with the national player of the year. What is Braden Smith supposed to do? Not pass the, not pass the ED? That's honestly what makes Braden Smith even greater to me is that I think as a freshman, a true freshman, he had the true self-awareness and the wherewithal to know that I'm playing with Zach ED. This this is going to be pretty sweet for me. I'm going to make my free throws. I'm going to make the shots I have, and I'm going to dump it into the 7-4 Canadian monster down low. That works for me. That'll be sweet. If you we're, – we're some of the biggest Bruce Thornton guys probably on this podcast or in the, in the, in the sports space. Uh, you could really make an argument that Braden Smith should be above Bruce Thornton. To me, he had a better freshman year than Bruce Thornton. Bruce Thornton came on stronger late. Braden Smith maybe faltered down the stretch a little bit, but consistently throughout the year, Braden Smith was better than Bruce Thornton. And I like Bruce Thornton too. So leaving him off the top 25 list is just to quote you asinine. Yeah. uh, Braden Smith has as many 20 point games in his career as Zed Key had last season, by the way. So if, if we're if we're banking on Zed Key being this bona fide scorer and Braden Smith's just a role player, he Zed, Key being, a, Zed Key being a ten's eating you alive. It's absurd. Uh, can I read some game logs for you on Braden Smith, and we can wrap this up? Yeah. Uh, his third game of his career, twenty points, three and two against Marquette in a win, fourteen seven and five against Gonzaga in a win, thirteen seven and nine against Florida State. 10, 12, and four against Davidson, 16, six, and four against Ohio State, 15, seven, and six against Penn State, 10, five, and four against Nebraska, 19, seven, and seven against Minnesota, 24, five, and four against Iowa, 18, three, and three against Maryland. How is this guy not on the list, man? This is who he was the entire season. These guys cover the conference, or they claim to. And the the second best player on the best team in the conference isn't even in their list of 33 names. I like these guys. I, I subscribe to their content. I don't understand this. It's, it's such an oversight. I'm doing mental gymnastics on it. And uh, I'm look, I guess I'm glad they retroactively added him. I guess maybe retroactively put him at 10. (laughs) The list would probably be a little better. Uh, okay. Let's God, 